You are watching One Book, One Review with Wiebke. Hey everyone, let's talk about Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich. This is the first in the Peter Grant series and I did have a lot of problems with this. I went into this book expecting some steampunk, some adventure, some fast light read. I didn't get that, at least not for me. It was not a steampunk, it was more urban fantasy with magic and detective story. So we have Peter Grant who's a constable, he's just finishing his training and there has been a murder, a beheading somewhere in London. And while he's watching the area, he sees a ghost. And that's where it all starts. He gets assigned to an inspector who also does magic, starts to teach him magic and introduces him into the magic world that is in London. That is sort of the backdrop of the whole series. We have Peter Grant learning the magic and becoming a police officer that deals with all the magic crime that's going on. And that's a little bit confusing because the detective story was rather boring. I didn't see the mystery that they were trying to unfold. It was sort of slow ebb and flow and there were a lot of other things going on. At first I didn't really know what was bothering me but around about 200 pages into the book I realized it's Peter Grant. I don't really like his character. He's a young British man and he's not concentrated. His partner Leslie always criticizes that he cannot focus, that he gets distracted easily and that is true. And that's also true for the writing. I noticed at some point that this whole book reflects his character. So there is a lot of distractions there. He tells something, then he jumps to something else because he's a narrator. And that got onto my nerves at some point. And also in the beginning, he explained how things worked. And that was interesting because I didn't really know what was going on. But towards the end, I felt being lectured more and more. It just didn't stop his explaining rants on what was going on, what they were doing and I just had the feeling that the narrator was lecturing me, telling about things instead of showing them to me. And this is something that I really don't like in a book. I like it when it introduces something and needs to clarify things that you're not left in the dark. Perfectly fine. But when it doesn't stop, as soon as I understood how the world works, it is annoying. Looking at the magic in this novel, it's rather interesting. We have London and it's deeply influenced by magic things going on and we have the inspector who seems to be the only wizard left around there trying to deal with it and keep it in control. There's always talk of an agreement which is never really mentioned what the agreement is. We have just always it's part of the agreement and it's rather interesting how there's not that much explanation about the magic and how it works. Peter Grant constantly tries to find out how it works and go at it scientifically while his inspector is rather more just do it. That's I don't know how it works. It's just that's how it is and it's rather interesting but not that captivating that it really saved the book for me. I don't really see myself going on with the series. Tell me in comments if you liked the book and why you liked it and if you didn't like the book tell me why you didn't like it. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.